What's up, Final Community? I'm Robert Fifth, and a little bit different uh, kind of video for me today. I want to show you something uh, that is called the Humming Guru Ultrasonic Cleaner. This is known as the Affordable Ultrasonic Cleaner, and I want to show you uh, not only how this works, but how well this works. I have been on such a mission to find a decent record, uh, an incredible record cleaner, an excellent record cleaner is actually what I've been looking for for years. And uh, I've done a lot of them, uh, you know, the, 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 this, this type of nonsense. I hate this thing, this spin clean. You know, you're just putting a record against two brushes and, and spinning it around. You could do that with your hands. You don't need a thing like this to put a record in and just push the thing. And again, you're just dealing with brushes. You're just getting the dirt all over the rags and the brushes anyway, smearing it all around. I've done the this nonsense. This is the top selling thing on Amazon right now for record cleaners. Look at the huge bottle this comes in. Uh, this is Boundless record cleaner. They also have uh, they have uh, some like brushes and stuff. This gunked up my uh, stylus. You know, only used a little bit. Used the recommended amount and all that. Terrible. Um, all kinds of other stuff, all kinds of homemade formulas, people, people putting wood glue on the records. I've seen uh, people coming on the, the YouTube with their homemade uh, uh, formulas that consist of like uh, window cleaner and Dawn dishwashing liquid, maybe throw in some pledge furniture polish, you know, and then they show the records and they're all shiny. You could use anything like that to make records shiny. The thing is to make them sound good. So how well did the humming guru uh, ultrasonic cleaner do. We're about to find out. First, I just want to give a quick thanks to Patrick, the Vinyl Archivist. Uh, the Vinyl Archivist is the channel. Uh, he is the one that not only recommended the Humming Guru ultrasonic cleaner, but also recommended the uh, cleaning formula that I will talk about later. You know, it takes so long to find people to, to trust and to know, you know, you kind of know that they know what they're talking about. So when you find somebody like that, you just kind of cheat on them. Like you're in a classroom, I'm just cheating off his paper and doing all the things he does. So uh, thanks again to Patrick, uh, the Vinyl Archivist. Humming Guru Ultrasonic Cleaner, the affordable ultrasonic. Let's see it in action. So let's start by looking at a record I just cleaned. This is Bob Dylan's Nashville Skyline. Now, originally this had some dirt on it and some grime and whatever. It was in the dollar bin a, a long time ago. And as you can see, that dirt and grime, uh, does, there's none on there. It's got a nice shine to it, too. It's got a nice gloss. Now, one thing that you'll notice that the Humming Guru does not do is take care of those little hairlines. You know, those are still on there, those little hairline scratches. You can't really hear them, or at least I can't. This album, this record is just covered with them. But uh, yeah, it's not going to take care of that. It's not going to take away scratches. It's not going to take away those little hairline things. And it's not going to do uh, anything about scuffs. Okay, so now that we've got kind of the, the preview over with, let me show you how this thing actually works. First, let me show you what this comes with. It comes with this cover, which comes in really handy. I put this on uh, last night, woke up this morning, and a cat was sitting on this. So yeah, very important to have the cover on it when not in use. Uh, mine also came with these uh, seven and 10 inch adapters. Uh, some do not come with these and you have to buy them separately, but uh, you just put these on your seven and 10 inch records so you can clean those as well. Great instruction booklet as well. Full color, very illustrated. Uh, you know, it's not the kind that has like the, all the different languages and you know, everything is just half a page when it gets down to it. This entire thing is, is instructions. Like I said, a very nice, well put, very well put together. But you don't really need a lot of instructions. This is super easy. All you do is take, oh, and it also comes with these, uh, you know, replacement air filter pad, replacement water filter pad, and replacement little uh, little thing holders for the uh, 7 and 10 inch records. So what you do is you basically have this tray that's in the side here, and you want to fill this full of distilled water, only distilled water. Okay, you've got these little indicators here that tell you whether you're cleaning a 12 inch or seven inch, how high you want the water, which I don't really get that because a seven inch and 12 inch label are the same size, but okay. Uh, so you're just gonna put this distilled water in here. Very, very simple. And you wanna make sure that it's up to the line that it's supposed to be. And uh, th that's it. Now, now that you've measured it, which is all you're doing now, you're measuring it, you want to go ahead and pour it into here. Now, this is where it gets kind of messy. If you're not careful like that, <laughs> you got to pour it outward or it's going to curl under like that and make a mess. Thankfully, this is a big mess. Gee whiz. Thankfully, this is, uh, you know, very easy to clean. It kind of just drains right down in there. So when you're done with that, you want to put your cover on here, which inc includes that uh, water filter. Now, this is empty, right? 
So you slide this into the side. Okay, very simple. Then you get your record. Now I'm going to take a dirty record now. Look at this. This is Patsy Cline. Story of Patsy Cline. I don't know how well you can see this. But that thing is just covered in grime and fingerprints. And uh, it's not looking too good uh, at all. And, uh, you know, it, it's kind of like uh, I got this from Discogs this way. <laughs> from a seller on Discogs. Got a whole story with that. But let's just put this in here now. And I've already turned it on. I guess I could have showed you how to turn it on. Uh, you push the button here, turns it on. Uh, and how to plug it into the wall. Uh, I didn't figure I needed to do that. But you do power it up here, side, and then this starts blinking. And uh, basically, you've got like three options here. You can do a clean. You can do a double clean, which is what I always do. And then you dry it off. So what I do is push this. It's ready for what I want. Single clean. I want a double clean, so I push it again. And you see that two of those light up. Now everything's blinking. Looks good. Push the middle, record spinning, and it cleans. It does this for about five minutes. Now you'll notice that I'm still talking to you. You can still hear me, and I'm right next to this thing. The microphone is actually down here, close to this. It's not really that loud. Um, I've heard varying stories about how loud this is, but it's kind of shrill. It's kind of got an irritating sound, I guess. But it is definitely not that loud. The story I have with this Patsy crying while this is bad, I just want to give you an idea. It's going to be five minutes. I can cut part of it out. Uh, see, this is Rainbow and ZA. This is, this is why I'm kind of done with these guys at this point, because this just kept happening and kept happening, and the last one was ridiculous. Here's what I want. I wanted a 1960 stereo TV uh, pressing. Okay, that's what this guy is. Okay, it's supposed to be so you can get the exact pressing uh, that you want. Now, you'll notice this is on Deco Records. Uh, you know, obviously deck a label there. Look at the uh, inside here. You'll see it has a nice uh, page uh, fold, uh, gate fold thing with some nice uh, story, Patsy Klein story on there. Uh, all kinds of text, right? Beautiful. This is what I would send. You know, Rainbow Columbia House from the 80s. Patsy Klein story is the same on the cover. You can see they're completely diff written different. This has got a big thing here that one's on DECA, one's on MCA, totally different. I mean, I'm sure it was just an honest mistake though that I wanted what probably the best pressing in an album. And accidentally I got what's arguably probably the worst, right? A Columbia house from the 80s. So yeah, I'm 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 keeping it up right I'm I'm kind of thinking this kind of just a uh, this continues to spin. It's kind of like, uh, you know, really nitpicky here, but I kind of wish this went the other way. I know. Very, very uh, nitpicky here. You get this nice uh, box with this as well. It just doesn't come to your door, lay down in front of the door. It does, it does have a box. Now, you can, like I just showed you, put this distilled water in here, and this is supposed to have ultrasonic sound waves that are vibrating through that water and actually warming it up and actually breaking up grime in the dirt that's in the grooves of these uh, records. That's why it's ultrasonic cleaner. Ultrasonic is kind of a brand name with the technology. This is the humming guru of virtual ultrasonic cleaner. Like I said, the this is what's considered the affordable ultrasonic. Um, you know, you have the, the, the Gritter and all the $3,000 ones that I'm talking about, but this is the affordable one. Now, you have to watch out now, too, because I see this was a startup program, a uh, Kickstarter program, and then money got donated. That's how this thing got made and distributed and it's all right now. Um, but you have to watch out for now. Now, people imitating this. You know, people say, well, this is just imitation. Well, not really. It's more of an affordable alternative. Now you've got imitations of this popping up and you started with new imitations. So you have to watch out for that. I basically got this right from the hummingcrew.com website. So I knew I was uh, I knew I was getting the real thing. But you can see how this water is kind of tracing the grooves. It's not just kind of like just splashed on there and just running down or whatever. It seems like it is kind of getting in there. And I have cleaned about 20 records at this point, so I am kind of an expert on this now as far as YouTube. You know, principles go on that sort of humming guru. Uh, but I do want to remind you, though, I know I, 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 that I'm not being paid by humming guru. This is not a promotional video. If you see my other videos, you'll know that I don't show equipment a lot and I don't show, you know, how to do things or whatever. Um, I was just so impressed by the ease and the uh, affordability and the 
the way this thing works so well, I just wanted to uh, share that. You know, this is basically told to me, Steve, I wanted to pass on some uh, good news. You hear all these stories about how awesome some of these things work, like the spin clean. And it doesn't work that well. Man. But this, this does. It's, like I said, it's not going to... It's not going to perform miracles. Uh, it's not going to get rid of scratches. It's not going to get rid of scuffs. And um, I'll show you in a minute here, I think, why I do a pre-treatment before I put records on here. What I do is I mix just, just a drop of this and a, and a you know, some of this size. A couple of drops of, of you know, gold and this uh, clean is what was recommended to me. And again, drop of this, and that's all you need. A couple drops, that's it. And this thing literally drops out of the thing, you know, one drop at a time. This is so, these, both of these are so completely concentrated. This is what's usually used with, like, things like camera lenses and whatever, <clears throat> and this is just a great detergent. Now, this is over, but the fun's not over yet. You'll see this is blue. That means it's ready to go, but we have to dry this now. And when it dries, you've got all this water now here in this basin, right? It's going to drain back into this little side container here. So what you do is you get it ready again, you push that, you want it to dry, and then you just push it again. And it's going to drain that water, which is what it's doing right now, and then you'll notice the record starts spinning again, and it should be getting more and more dry as it goes along. Uh, the same way with cleaning, you can do a double dry or a single dry, but that's a little bit different. If you want a double dry, there's a, there's a slide here on the side, you just single or double, and you just keep it that way. Uh, I have only done single dries. I've never had a need for a double dry, so I don't really know what that's all about. But here we go with this. Uh, it, it fills up incredibly fast. Like it's already, it's already pretty much filled. This should start spinning and uh, drying, and uh, we'll see. We'll see how good these uh, results are. The drying uh, in a single run also takes about five minutes. Okay. <laughs> The record is now cleaned and dry. Like I said, that, that drying was about five minutes, about the same time as a double cleaning. <clears throat> you can do the double dry as well with the control on the side, but I have not yet had to have a reason to do a double dry. As you can see, this record is uh, totally dry. Now, this record does have its gloss, as you can see. It's got a nice gloss to it. It did not take care of that huge scuff that's right here. Obviously, you didn't expect it to. Uh, but if you'll notice, some of the fingerprints are still there. And that's one of the things I have uh, noticed about this Ultrasonic uh, Humming Guru Cleaner. It, it, it has an issue with surface dirt. Like if something is right on the, uh, the surface of the record, like a fingerprint or something, it's supposed to get into these grooves and really do that ultrasonic uh, vibration thing and get in there and clean those. But as far as stuff sitting on top, it sometimes uh, skips over that. So that's why I always do a pre-clean, and this is what has given me just uh, just really kind of unbelievable results. I'll just take a little bit of this uh, Turgiclean and some of this uh, Ilfotol, uh, you know, and just, just wipe the record off, you know, and then, of course, you take a, a sprayer of distilled water, you, you wash it off good with that, and then put it in here, and you will get uh, incredible results. I took this Pretenders uh, record, I'll show you something else this takes care of as well. As you can maybe hopefully see on the uh, inner groove here, on the inner, uh, the, the dead wax here, there's a difference because the water level, you can see where that water level was. And this is super clean and uh, actually has a gloss on it. And this has kind of a haze over it. This, this real inner part here is kind of a haze. And you can make out the exact line on both sides where the water was. That's, that was the problem with this Pretenders one. It had some fingerprints and stuff on it, but the most thing, it had this haze over it, and that has been uh, completely removed. Now, we've been talking about records, how they look and how to make them shiny, take the haze off, take the fingerprints off with the pre-cleaning, you know, and the scuffs and the scratches that remain or whatever, but obviously it's an audio product. The big question is, how does it sound? And I've got a great record for that as well. Ladies and gentlemen, ACDC, Highway to Hell. Now, I've talked about this in the video before. I don't buy a whole lot of uh, new vinyl compared to, like, the used stuff I get at, like, antique malls and flea markets, which is, by the way, what makes this so awesome, a lot of used vinyl. But some of the new vinyl I have, I mean, I've heard people say, you got to clean the new stuff, too. With this, it's got to be true. Now, I've wiped this off since then, but when I first got this, brand new, out of the shrink wrap, $35.98 for this, 
it had a big handprint going across it. You can still see here it has some sort of, I don't know if that's a scuff or like some sort of a, a I don't know what that is. But the big thing was uh, it sounded like this. Listen to this um, side one and side two start of the record. I can't play any of the music, but just listen to how the record, how the sides start. Now that was brand new right out of the package and I've only played this like twice because I really don't like all that scratch and stuff. It's harder to hear obviously on an ACDC record uh, while the music's playing and this particular Highway to Hell release, there's not a lot of time between songs. As soon as one song ends cold, the next song fires off, but you can definitely tell in the beginning and uh, end wax there uh, how this uh, sounds. So let's go ahead and clean this one and I'll show you how to clean a record after you've already cleaned one. You take this out of the reservoir, you're actually going to use this water again okay so let me put this here right on top of this dirty patsy klein record that's a great way to do that uh and you pour this in here and you can see you want to pour it through here so it goes through this little water filter okay so we're pouring it in there and that does pretty well you can see a lot of not a lot of not a not a lot of mess until it starts leaking out of these two places and you can hold it on tight if you want to it's still gonna keep leaking so what i always do is turn it around this way so that at least it leaks into uh, the, the machine there. And so you just drain that out. You wanna make sure you get it all. You know, you don't wanna not, you leave a bunch in there because then what happens is it's not gonna cover uh, the entire record. And basically what we're trying to do is see how well we can improve the sound of the, of the dead wax. So yeah, we better make sure that we've got enough in there. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and put a little extra drop in there uh, just to be on the safe side. Uh, because you lose a little bit that's okay that was more than a drop you lose a little bit uh you know when it splashes around like that but after a while you get used to where it you know maybe yours will leak somewhere else or maybe it won't leak but i know that this one leaks here and here so it's best to just turn it around straight uh, drop that in there you put it right back in the side like you did before this is full of water now that's blinking ready to go so you just repeat the patsy klein step you take the record you put it right in those grooves uh it's nice and secure in there Hit that, want to double clean on this, even though it's brand new. Let's just do a double clean. And uh, we're double cleaning with ACBC Highway to Hell. So I'm going to clean this whole thing. I'm going to dry this whole thing. And then we're going to see if we got rid of any of those pops and scratches on the uh, dead wax. And while this is drying, I just want to mention too that obviously a vacuum would be preferred, but the vacuum ones like the gritter and all that, that's where you start getting up into the thousands and thousands of dollars. Obviously, it's a better thing to have that stuff just sucked right out of there than blown off with a, with a fan, which is basically what this is doing. It's just blowing it off. But when you compare, you know, a little over $400 with $3,000, $4,000, I think this, you know, obviously a vacuum is preferred. Maybe buy a vacuum thing later. But then when you start getting into vacuums and, and all that kind of stuff and the bigger thing, you, you really need an area. You need like an area to clean your records. This thing is just so compact so lightweight so easy to use you can just put this anywhere and you know if the noise which it really isn't anything to me it sounds basically uh it's the level of like maybe a modern dishwasher it's not that loud at all but if it's so horrible you don't like it put it in the laundry closet put it in the bathtub and close the bathroom door <laughs> make it happen quit bitching this thing cleans records like a gem about to find out how well it cleans records though that already looked good because this looked like a good you know except for the finger marks across it and the scuff uh it was very shiny and glossy it looked like a brand new record it's done let's see if it sounds any better now and now for the final test the led zeppelin 3 test now if you've seen uh, one of my other videos you may know what's coming here this is an atrocity this is a monarch pressing of led zeppelin 3 it's not an original it's a second pressing uh you'll see that side one here has got a really bad like scratch here and whatever uh so that's not going to be easy to play everything else looks okay it doesn't look great then you flip it over look at that oh wow somebody has taken a pencil to this and done that on purpose that is not uh, an accident. Look at that. That is all over the entire side. Now, I apologize to the humming guru people because this is completely unfair. 
to their product. I do not expect this to uh, get rid of a bunch of pencil markings from I don't know how many decades ago. But we're going to go ahead and see what the... Uh, how, and I'm just spilling water everywhere. See, this is kind of messy. You, you really need the two pans for this because you need to be... Whoa! You need to hold that on there. There we go. And so I'm going to go ahead and see what this is going to do to these pencil markings here. And uh, probably nothing, but it, it'll just be a fun little uh, little experiment here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and want the double clean on this one. Be on the safe side. Let's see how long this, uh, oh, not how long, but let's see how good this does. This is a horribly trash record. Again, I'm not expecting really anything. This is just a fun way to, to wrap up the video. Let's see if you can take some of this beyond and uh, see how well this cleans. I didn't even give this any kind of pre pre treat. You will see. We'll see. Okay, so it is clean. Let's see if it just magically took off that. That didn't do. Uh, well, it is shiny now. It's really shiny. But as far as the uh, pencil scribblings, uh, that didn't really do too much. But you know what? I didn't do my pre treatment on it. Let me do the pre treatment and then clean it again and see if it does anything. Okay, so I got my magic potion here with the Atergitol and the Ifitol, just again, again, a drop, you know, of each. And we're going to just go ahead, and we're going to spray it on the brush, actually, this uh, Kermish brush. This thing is so cool. And apparently, really, it does a wonder getting in there. I just sprayed that all over the record. But you just, uh, the way I do it is basically the same way I've seen uh, others do it. You just get that on there like that, work it in, and uh, let, it, uh, let it do its uh, magic uh, again, just kind of getting that in there, and this is not going to do. <laughs> this is not going to do anything. Okay, I'm going to take my uh, one towel that I have here to wipe this off with, and uh, you know, this is my uh, formula towel. Okay, let's make sure all that's nice and pushed in there. And now I'm going to take my uh, just distilled water and just give it a rinse off with a different towel. As you can see, this is working wonders. And uh, let's go ahead and run it through the, uh, run it through there again, and uh, and see if we can uh, make a difference. Again, sure made it shiny. Uh, didn't do a lot for the pencil marks, so the lead stays unfortunately, in, uh, in Led Zeppelin 3. Again, my apologies to the Humming Guru people. I know that this is not what, is, what your cleaner is, uh, is meant for. So some really incredible results for this, especially for the price and for what it is. It's not going to get rid of scratches. It's not going to get rid of scuffs. And I suggest you do a pre-treatment beforehand to get rid of the surface stuff. Obviously, you don't want to put a dirty, you know, filled with dirt all over it. You don't want to put that in there. And uh, it doesn't do well on the fingerprints. you got to scrub those off and then put the record in here and... It'll work its magic. And no, unfortunately, it does not get the lead out of Led Zeppelin Records uh, either. We found that out. But an incredible uh, unit, definitely worth the price. Like I said, I am not a paid sponsor. I did not get this for free. I am strictly just a customer that took some different people's advice, including, like I said, Patrick at the Vinyl Archivist. Thank you very much for all your uh, advice on cleaning records, including the uh, Turgid Clean and the Ifletal and all that, and, and the Kermis brush. <laughs> so uh, thanks again for watching. And uh, yeah, that's just a kind of a different kind of video for me, but I really wanted to show everybody uh, so at least you kind of get a better idea of, of what this thing can do and, and what it cannot do. You know, get your expectations raised really high. And I did hear reports that this was really loud, and I wanted to kind of clear that up. This is not a loud machine at all. But I'm Robert Fithin. Uh, please consider liking the video if you liked it. And um, that's all. Keep the great videos coming from the vinyl community. Uh, I'll keep watching them and liking them too. Thanks again for watching.